a lot of the people you meet, they tell you, you know, my dad got me into fishing, my grandfather got me into fishing, and uh, I'm self-taught. I heard somewhere along the line, I don't know where I heard it, but somebody said, you know, big bait, big fish, and it just sunk into my brain. And since then, rather than throwing like a little three or four inch Cinco, I would find the biggest plastic worm I could. If there was a crankbait there that was two or three inches long, I'd go for the four or five inch. And I cannot tell you how many times where I've come home just completely smelling like skunk. I'd just rather catch one or two good fish than to catch 50. I had bucket list fish actually, uh, musky. And uh, I heard about these strip pits here in, in Illinois. And so Thursday evening I got loaded up and just running on adrenaline, I drove 14 hours up here, basically on about three hours of sleep to come chase these fish. And uh, it's surprising. I mean, these, some of these places are 80 and 90 feet deep and they're, they're cold, it's clean water. So I jumped at the opportunity and uh, had a good time. I caught at least five fish over five pounds, and then my kiss goodbye was a 40-inch muskie. It's funny because I was actually thinking I was gonna catch it on like some $100 swim bait or something like that, and I'm actually over there on a plastic worm of all things, and I thought it was a bass until I got a look at it and started squalling like a little girl. It was pretty good. I kick some musky butt, 10,000 cast, 